Hi, welcome or welcome back to my book sanctuary. I'm Bianca and I wanted to update you with my reading from the 10th of February to the 16th of February. So I only have four books to update you with for this week and I wanted to quickly mention Distance by Luna Mason. I'm actually currently still reading that so I will let you know all about it at the end of next week most likely. And then I wanted to mention basically the first book I ended up reading for the week. So I ended up reading House of Omega by Roxy Collins. I gave this three stars. It was okay, I guess. It's an Omegaverse book and her abusive, controlling stepbrother basically is controlling her. But then she meets Max who ends up getting caught up with the alphas from the House of Omega, which is like a fashion house. And, yeah, the way it all happened was very, very quick. Omegaverse can go very quickly sometimes, but this was very quick. Uh, the alphas courting Max almost seemed to come out of nowhere, and the way she and Max sort of hooked up together was very, very, very quick. And yeah, overall it was an okay book, I guess. It was just typical Omegaverse in a lot of ways. And you know, the stepbrother is a bit of a douche, so he tries to get in their way. And yeah, it was, it was an okay one, I guess. But then I ended up reading The Perfect Fit by Sadie Kincaid. I actually quite liked this one. Um, it's a dark white choose and, and Lily, Lily ends up with the Unholy Trinity guys, which I believe were, what were their names? West, Ezekiel, and Xander. These three guys are intimidating, ruthless, billionaire blokes. And they've got a lot of dark tastes. There's knife play in this. There's period sex, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. So there's blood play and there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, primal play. It's very fun in some ways. <laughs> and in other ways, it was just okay. And the guys want to approach this relationship with Lily a little bit differently than they have in the past because they usually do uh, non-disclosure things, <laughs> contracts and whatnot. And in this instance with Lily, they want to do things a little bit differently. But yeah, it's full of angst and yeah, full of a lot of kinky stuff. And I really enjoyed it. It was a solid four-star book for me. Then I ended up reading Ryan Rule by Sadie Kincaid. Uh, this is New York Ruthless Book One. Jesse basically gets involved with the Ryan brothers, which are these Irish mobsters guys. And there was almost, two, I, this is 90% sex, 10% plot, if, and if you want to call it plot. <laughs> um, that might be being a bit generous. It was okay. It's just she crashes into their lives and really all they do is have sex a lot. And there's, you know, a little outside issues and some other problems because they're, you know, mobsters and she's she and, yeah, it was okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was good enough for me to continue because I did go on to Ryan Redemption. And this is New York, York, New York Ruthless Book 2. And with this one, she's basically stolen away from the guys or leaves the guys. And then things aren't exactly what she thought they were. And there's this whole thing with her past and her family. And yeah, it was okay, I guess. It was just, I don't know. She just doesn't know if she can trust the book guys and the guys don't know if they can trust her and then there's the whole complication with her leaving and then uh, I don't know it was okay you know she has ties to the Bratfire and they have the guys have ties to the Irish mob and you know life is complicated but 
I don't know. It was just a little, a little bit too much for me. <laughs> but in saying that, that was all the books that I have ended up reading so far this week. I actually have, uh, like I said, about halfway through Distance, and then I actually was also reading another book, uh, Secret Pucked by Rebecca Jen Jenchak. Still reading that as well. We'll see if I finish that. I've put that down and I haven't really picked it back up yet, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, that was basically just a really quick update with my reading for the week, and I really appreciate you watching. <laughs> But thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll catch us in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.